Welcome back to Cave Story, everybody. So, in the last episode, we got stuck in this labyrinth. Oh my gosh, I only have 4 HP. Oh boy, this will be fun. Well, while we're here, we might as well try leveling up the sword. As you can see, the sword is very powerful. It's a great weapon. Alright. Luckily, we've got a max level bubble mine. So the sword, like, I'm, I'm mashing the fire button as fast as I can. Not that rapid fire, but if you're up close, see, watch how fast I can throw it. Look at that. It's, I'm essentially swinging like a sword, uh, like an actual sword at close range. So at close range, the sword deals a ridiculous amount of damage, which is amazing. So that'll come in handy for several boss fights. However, long range, you better hope you hit your target and kill it immediately. All right. I'm not gonna drop down and get all the EXP. We need to get going. <laughs> Darn it. And that is why I was trying to avoid those. Okay, you gave me missiles. Literally the only thing I did not want. You can destroy those purple blasts, which is nice. Also, believe it or not, the sword is at its best at level 2. Like, level 3 is ridiculously awesome, and it can kill- it can hurt a lot more. Like, it can hurt a lot more enemies, but it's, like, even less rapid fire than, than the sword is. So, it is actually bet in your best interest, at least when you're fighting bosses, to keep the sword at level 2. Because at level 2, the sword is basically just a slightly larger version of this, whereas at level 3, it's like- it actually changes fairly substantially. Ooh. Life pack. Oh, sweet. Ah, nope, 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 no, no, no. Life pack. I'm sorry, life capsule. Plus 5 HP. I bet you're wondering why don't you just use the life jar that Jenka gave me? Well, we definitely want to save that. That's why. All right, yes. Do you want to open the door? Yeah, I do. Here you go, guys. I made it to the top. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg. That is the labyrinth. The labyrinth is a giant area. Wee. Okay, those are enemies. The mangled remains of a robot. Ouch. You can one-hit kill them with the sword. Even at level one. It's amazing. And dang it, this music is so good. And dang it, this music is less good. Thank you. Sword actually levels up remarkably quickly considering how great of a weapon it is. Even just at level 1, the sword is powerful, which is very nice, so even if it's like, uh-oh, literally all my le weapons are level 1, it's like, well, at least you got the sword, so that's nice. Plus, I mean, it's just plain awesome to be fighting with a sword. Oh yeah, level 2 sword. Check that out. It's much bigger now. Labyrinth shop? These guys are actually not enemies. Gah, I wanna eat Mimiga. Okay, maybe they are. What's that scent? I faintly smell Mimika on you. It was ages ago. A witch lived alone in solitude here on this island. That witch would ultimately use her magic to create this labyrinth and confine us gaudy within. Ever seen the outside of this island? It's floating high up in the sky. How the island appears to float? 
The secret uh, to that is hidden deep inside this labyrinth. So we are on a floating island in this game. Pretty cool, I must admit. A way out of the labyrinth does exist. However, the path leading to the exit is obstructed by a single boulder. I'm not even sure if the exit can be reached after moving the massive piece of rock. Hi. This is the labyrinth shop. Unfortunately, a br burglar broke in recently and took everything, so I don't have anything to sell you. Sorry for the inconvenience. What's that? You've got something nice there. That's a polar star and a fireball. May I have a look? No. You're gonna regret it later. No, I won't. He was basically offering to give us a new gun in exchange for both of our polar star and our fireball. Which is a bad deal, because the weapon he gives us, the snake, is actually not that great. It's basically a combination of the two, where it's like, it shoots the bouncing fireballs like this. However, like the polar star, it shoots it in like a straight-ish line. Where like, it'll kind of curve up and down, sinusoidal-like, but it'll still travel in a straight line like this. Like, it won't bounce on the ground, it'll still travel through midair. And it is the only weapon in the game that can shoot through walls, which can be nice, but it, I say it's by far the worst of the free weapons you can get for your Polar Star. The machine gun's better, so... Also, yes, that is a teleporter up there, but we can't reach it. And it's not even active anyways. That was weird. Maybe those guys just have more HP than the regular non-flying variant. I will show off the level 3 sword because it is one of the... The level 3 sword is one of the most awesome looking weapons in the entire game. But it's just not as practical as the level 2 one. Oh, I'm almost there! Alright, yeah, level 3 sword! You literally shoot the ghost of Kane, and he, like, destroys everything in his path. The problem is, he's nowhere near his rapid fire, even at close range. Like, it looks like it's rapid fire at close range, but if he hits an enemy, he stays there for a little bit. So, it actually is nowhere near as effective against bosses. I'm a physician. Allow me to take care of you. Don't worry, I won't take your money. In exchange, please accept a simple request from me. There's an old clinic nearby. Go there and see if there's any medicine left inside. And we get the clinic key. I'm a nurse. I worked at the clinic nearby, but a dark ghost began haunting it, so I ran away to came here. Hi! Long time no see! You look great! So you were warped down here by that witch misery? Me too! Even you weren't be able to succeed against them. I did have a tiny bit of hope. Like you, I tried my best, and this is where I ended up. I'm disappointed in myself. When it comes down to it, I couldn't protect them. With this body in this shape, getting out of here is going to be next to impossible. Poor Curly. Also, that treasure just has a really awesome item, and if you have the machine gun, baby, you can get it right now. That sounded way more suggestive than I wanted it to. Basically, inside there is like an item that lets you, your bubble line and your machine gun recharge faster, like it's limited ammunition. How did my missile launcher get to be level 1? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, because it's going to drop to level 1 soon anyways. Oh, sweet. Oh, nope. Not sweet. Get back up there. And we use the clinic key in here. And we get the cure-all. Except this guy, this guy appears. Yeah, look how fast you can damage if you're, like, right next to it. You usually take damage in the process yourself, but dang it, look at how much HP I'm eating away at. Oh yeah, and that guy can still damage you even after he's dying, so that's annoying. Give me my EXP back.
Even if I don't want it to be level 3, I still want to have a decent amount of level 2 ammo. I'm a physician, allow me to take care of you. And we gave the cure-all to him. Oh, you found it! Thank you, and sorry for the trouble. Please leave the rest to me. Thank you for doing what was necessary to help your friend. Tell me, were there still any ghosts? This is the legendary labyrinth. I don't know who built it, but it must be some kind of trash collection. There's only one way to escape. You would have to move a massive rock that is found inside a separate chamber. I'd go with you, but in my current state, I'd be more of a burden than a help. Well, we gave the cure-all to the doctor, so he'll fix her up. I really can't wait till I get the better version of the Polar Star, though. There's still one last weapon we can get in exchange for a Polar Star, and it's the best of all. Yeah, if you go, if you can fly up there with the machine gun, you are golden. Oh boy, that's a tricky jump. Oh yeah, this boss. If you can, try to finish this boss with a decent amount of HP. Also, try to kill all as many of these guys as you can. You might be wondering, hey, you haven't dealt any damage to it yet. That's because I'm still destroying its outer core part. Yeah, if you end the fight with like 4 HP, you're in for a world of trouble. But yeah, look at how fast that sword can damage. I have like racked up 200 damage very quickly with that sword. It's so good. Also, destroy those missiles. And try not to get run over by the tank treads. It's like a major bummer, man, if you do. Goodbye. Meow. Defeated Monster X. Okay, and then in this next room... Oh, man. That was Professor Booster who just fell there. And okay, so I mentioned earlier, there are three different endings for this game. This, what you do here, determines what you can, which ending you can get. If you go down and talk to Professor Booster down there, you cannot get the best ending in the game. It sounds weird. So first I'm going to save, just in case I fall down. So what the game, like, is kind of trying to make you do is you go down, you talk to him, and he'll be like, oh, I've got, like, these rocket shoes for you. And he'll give you, like, rocket shoes that will let you fly around for a bit, and then he'll die. And then you're supposed to use the rocket shoes to get to the door to the right. And then just kind of continue on. But if you do that, you can't actually get the best ending in the game, believe it or not. Also, it is impossible to get to that health pack with or that health computer without the rocket boots. So that's why I suggest having a lot of HP left from the last fight. And that jump is really hard to make. And if you fall down here... Just try it again. But yeah, trust me, you cannot reach that health computer. In my first attempt at this Let's Play, I probably spent, like, 15 minutes trying to get that. It just can't be done. You're always one pixel short. Whew, that, even that is a tough one to do, though. And there's Curly. You made it! I've been waiting for you to get here all this time! If this rock is moved, we can continue onwards to the Labyrinth exit. Rumor has it that there's a creature's lair up ahead. Be prepared for anything. Well then, let's move this boulder to the side. Hold that end, and then... So, let's go! Oomph! It won't move at all. Maybe it's impossible to move with only the two of us. Oh yeah! Hey, it's you! <laughs> so you are alive! And on top of that, you two are trying to escape from the labyrinth! 
Shouldn't you be resting instead of trying to make an escape, eh? Remember that you can't defy the Master any more than I can. Fine, then. I'm ending this. Just stay here with the rest of the scrap metal. Oh, this is perfect! You can grab the metal! Ready? Are you two listening to me at all?! Time for the last fight against Balrog. It's a little sad. And now he's got missiles. We defeated Balrog! Defeated again! I'll move the rock for you, but in return, keep the fact that I helped move it for you a secret. Don't you worry! Here goes! <laughs> Got it? Me helping you guys, it's our little secret! Right! He might actually be one of the good guys. And if we open this chest... Missiles are powered up! So now we have the Super Missile Launcher. And that's what I meant when I said that was going to go down to level 1 anyways. Now our missiles are way more powerful, so they're actually even... They're actually good against boss fights again. And that is where we're... Is that... Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to be where we end the episode off for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in for the next episode. We are going to try to escape from the labyrinth. Have a great day, and God bless.